Did you know you can save up to 30% on gfuel.com using code DARKSCORPION77? You save money, you support me in the process, and it is greatly appreciated. There's plenty of products to choose from. I said you can save anywhere from 20 to 30%. And if you do use my code, make sure you tag me on Twitter so I can thank you personally. How's it going, guys? It's October. It's spooky season. And what does that mean? It's time for a G Fuel review of a product that is perfect for the Halloween season because we have the Caramel Apple. Now, this one, if you don't know, is actually a reskin. It's a reskin of the original Liquid Lullaby. And the problem with Liquid Lullaby is you can't even see Liquid Lullaby on there. But it's there. Just really, really dark. And that's one thing I never really liked about this. A lot of people didn't like about that. But the flavor was phenomenal. But now we finally have it back. And this time, it's a great ass artwork. You have that zombie apples and the caramel oozing all over the place. You had the, the green with a little bit of orange below. It just color wise, this is phenomenal. I like it. And even that right there is pretty cool. Oh, it has the caramel oozing all over the place. But it looks great. This is actually perfect for the Halloween season. And you do got your nutrition information and everything like that. But this one I definitely like. I don't believe it's available anymore on the site. But. For those that were able to get it via the stream they had earlier or from them actually purchased it when they first had the BOGO, this one is phenomenal. They may bring it back because it's not Halloween yet. We still got other stuff coming out for Halloween. A couple more reskins so and reissues, so possibly it might come back. But this one right now we're going to try out. I already know what it tastes like, obviously, because I had the Liquid Lullaby, but we're going to a brand new one because this is about a year old. Guaranteed the flavor did change a little bit. But it's not going to be a, a huge difference in the flavor, but let's see. I got the easy pull. And wow. Now that don't usually happen too often. Right in the top. As soon as I open up, first thing I'm getting is that caramel flavor. It's like That's like the most prominent flavor I'm actually smelling in there. I mean, it's almost like a maple type smell, but it's the caramel, and then you do get a slight apple. Maybe the two together kind of give that maple type scent to it. Yeah, that time I'm definitely getting apple, but it still seems to be in powder form overpowering with the caramel flavor. But smells really good. I can't wait to actually try this because this is actually gonna be pretty damn good. But yeah, definitely caramel. Apple is in the back end. It's a tart almost like a Macintosh type of apple flavor. But let's see how it tastes. Now, you can keep these on and take them off. I take them off. You don't really need them because you're just putting inside of a shaker, so. Unless you do water bottles, and yeah, I suggest to keep it. But we got our 16 ounces of water. Let's take a level scoop. Right off the bat, you definitely tell the color is the same because it's still the right color that was. But let's give it a shake. It's about 30 seconds or so. It's a deep, like, brick red color, too. There we go. That should be good. Alright, let's see how this one smells. Now, this is the funny thing is, in the powder form, the strongest scent I'm getting is the caramel. Like, right off the bat, just permeating the air, everything, I'm getting the caramel. And then apples in the back end. This very first sniff, I'm getting apple. And it does, definitely has that Macintosh, that bright red apple that you bite into. So it's definitely that smell there. Honestly, it's weird because the smell, it's very subtle in the caramel. It's weird because that smells straight up like caramel. This smells straight up like apple. But. It's a very hint, a very faint hint of smell of caramel, but it's really strong with apple, and I actually really like that. But let's see how it tastes. That's actually really good. It seems to me, because the liquid lemon body had more of a caramel taste to it, this to me has more of an apple. But you're definitely getting that caramel on the back end, that little bit of a salted caramel sweetness to it. And it's definitely strong Macintosh type flavor. It's actually really good. 
But yeah, first thing you're getting out of that is the apple. So prominent flavor I'm getting is just apple. And then you get that caramel to the back end. It's a lingering caramel taste. So it's not like something that's like, hey, it's gone. You, it lingers so you can still get that caramel apple. But it's like the nice crisp type taste you get when you bite into a Macintosh apple. But I really like this. And I'm glad I picked it up because it actually tastes slightly better than the liquid lullaby. It could be the age, it could be anything with it. But I like the fact this has more of an apple flavor than the other one did. But that's just me. Each palette could be different. But I would definitely give this at least, I would say 8.5. This is a, I would say definitely not god tier, but it's definitely, it's high in there. So it's 8.5 for the flavor. And artwork, artwork is definitely god tier because that artwork is phenomenal. So that's definitely gonna be god tier. But this, I definitely suggest if they do bring it back, it's very flavorful. If you had the liquid lullaby, then you may pick it up if you want to. It's not something that you have to if you can't get it because you pretty much already have that with the liquid lullaby. But I definitely suggest this. And if you do bring it back, be sure to use code DARKSCORPION77 and tag me at Twitter and I'll give you credit for it. But definitely know what you think. As always, thanks for watching.